Hey guys and welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to be getting out with the old and bringing in with the new. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? Well, if you guys have been here from the very beginning, or even if you guys have been curious to see what my first YouTube video ever was, it was me showing you the quality, well actually the sound decibel rating of these Hella Supertones. And these horns I had in my car uh, for probably four years now. Now just recently, one of them died on me. So I'm like, okay, what do I do? Do I buy another set? Do I try something else out? And I'm like, okay, well, what else is out there? So I figured Hella has been great. Hella's been taking care of me. They did a really good job with making these horns and they lasted me four years. Especially considering they've been, they were right here exposed to any element. So I've got a grill right out front, but anytime it snows, anytime it rains, as you can tell by the rust on here, um, it gets absolutely beat. So I figured, okay, what next? And you could probably tell, I've got new Hellas. But these are a little bit different. These are the Hella Sharp Tones, as opposed to the Super Tones, which is what I had installed on the car. So these things, they're a little bit quieter, and they make a little different note. And then apparently this note that these make is a little bit more appealing than the super high pitch from the Super Tones. Now, a lot of you guys know what the Super Tones sounds like. I have them on my car, we installed them on my little brother's car, and I figured, okay, there's not really that many videos on the internet showing you what the super, no, what the sharp tones sound like. So I'm like, okay, why not? Let's try them out. So I picked up a set from Amazon. You guys can check the stuff out um, that I have and what I'm using today. You guys can check that in the description box as always. Um, but I bought these. I got a little bit of the wiring done already. And um, yeah, I'm gonna walk you through as to what I'm doing. So what I have right here are the two Hella sharp tones that came in this box brand new from Amazon. I picked them up, they were actually very inexpensive. They're a little bit cheaper than the Supertones. Um, and I was like, okay, sweet, that's an extra plus two. So I started off with that, and I have to wire these up to the backside um, of the OEM wiring connector for my horns. Now I already went up and made up one connector here that connects for the ground, and the other one here connects to the power. So the power is supplied from the car right here, and this is where both of my horns are gonna be mounted up. So I've got one power, two powers, it mounts up there from the bracket for the horn, and to the left of it, that's where I'm gonna be installing my ground. So I'm gonna be installing, oh, where to go? Let's connect this little piece right there on the back of it, and I'll insert um, a, a bolt, a nut, or whatever through it in order for it to make a good ground. Now, to get those little wiring harnesses, like the little, little connectors, um, I used up everything you see here. So I started off by using one of these little rolls. And this right here is a little roll of wire, and that's what I used to make um, the connector go from the horn to the ground, and you know, whatever. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. I'll have links to everything in the description box. I used a 13 mil ratchet to loosen up this nut right here found on the backside, so I can adjust where the wiring connectors are in relation to where it's mounted up. Now, set that aside. Um, what else do I have? I've got a lighter for the shrink wrap that I have in here. I got it from a kit on Amazon as well. Um, I've got the little connectors that I used. So any of these little fancy ones, whether it be that one, the female or the male connectors, I got them all from Amazon. And there's a nice little kit right here that I picked up and it's got essentially everything that I need to get you know any kind of wiring connecting done. So anything small, uh, whether it be horns, whether it be a security system, whether it be whatever, you can use basically everything in here to get it done. And it's nice, especially when you're using um, the male and female connectors. Once you wire both sides up, it's literally just push in, push out, and they're done. You can take it out, you can take out whatever you're working on very easily. So say, you know, you don't like the horns, no problem, take it out, it'll literally take two seconds. Because all that you do is yank on it. Yank on that little connector, forward, and it's gone. Uh, what else, I used my, uh, my ratcheting wrench right here. I used that to take out the bolts that were connecting through, through the horns to the body of the car. Screwdrivers, wire strippers, all that stuff. But if you guys want to see a full in-depth tutorial as to how to do this, you guys can check out my other video where I showed you how to install the Hella Supertones, which are the red ones, on my brother's Golf. We made it really nice, we cleaned it up, and it's been awesome. So we can say goodbye to our old Hella Supertones and say hello to our new Hella Sharptones. So I now have both the high and the low 
hella horns installed. I've got the power and the ground hooked up to both of them. So right now I've got the battery hooked up and if I press the horn, we should be able to hear the new sound of these hella sharp tones. So this is going to be a comparison from four feet away from the horns. So this right here is the sound coming from my hella sharp tones. And this is the sound coming from the hella super tones that we have installed on my brother's car. You can tell that there is a very distinct sound difference between the two. Now, as of which one is going to be more audible and which one is going to be more pronounced while you're driving, um, that's a good question. I don't know. However, if you ask me, like I like the Hella Supertones, but I prefer the Sharp Tones. It's not going to be red like the other ones. However, the smaller style and the different sound, I feel, is going to be much more noticeable from, say, the car up ahead. It's got a much more, uh, how do I call this, train horn kind of sound to it. Because these horns are that inexpensive to replace, it's not really worth it to try and distinguish what went wrong and try to fix the problem. Now, one of the horns went bad, and you can tell that around each one of the sides, you can see that it's all rusty. So, I mean, these horns are very old, so they've been beaten, they've been abused, they've gone through Canadian winters multiple times, and they've done the trick up until now. So I want to see now how long these new hella sharp tones will last on the car. Let's see if they can live up to, you know, four years, if not more. If they can, I'll be more than happy with these things. Now, if you guys take a look at a different style horn, so not this kind, but this kind, you can see that these horns, they're not going to be getting abused as much as the other ones. So because all of the horn, like the real horn mechanism part to it, is found on the inside of there, you know, it's not really going to get beaten. It's not going to be abused. And my camera doesn't want to focus, so I'm going to go to manual mode. There we go. So all of the horn part is found on the inside of here. So we're not going to get any water hitting it, you know, straight on. And also, because this right here is found behind the bumper, it's not going to get abused anymore either. So the horns that I have on the Accord, they're essentially right behind the grill. And just like the rad, you can see that all like the little rocks and everything, all the debris that hits it, it'll damage the fins. And the same thing kind of happens with the horns. So because the horns are right behind the grill, they're going to get beat. But if you put it in an inconspicuous area, like behind the bumper, you know, anywhere down in here, they'd last a much longer time. However, they're not going to be as loud. So that's why I like them here. I prefer, you know, spending the extra, you know, 30, 40, whatever it is, dollars every four years for nice loud horns. So whenever some guy cuts you off and, you know, you really want to make sure that he knows that he messed up, you know, you honk your horn once with these things and I'll get the job done. So just like every video, if you guys want to pick up anything that I use today, check the description box. I'll have links to everything. Um, yeah, that's as far as it goes. Hella also has um, more like... OEM style horns that are louder than OEM. So if you guys have a regular set of horns that you want to make louder, but you don't want to really go for this style, you guys can opt up for those. However, if you want a really nice loud upgrade for a set of just electric horns, no air compressors, no nothing, that are super loud, that'll work every single time, you know, except, you know, four or five years down the road, these are your go-to. Pick up a set of these, pick up a set of the, the super tones, sharp tones. These are the sharp tones. Pick up a set of the super tone, sharp tones. Doesn't really matter. They'll both do you good. If you guys have any questions regarding the video, throw them down in the comment section below, and I'd be happy to help. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.